Hi guys, my name is Anna. I am a 29 year old mechanical engineering student and today we are gonna be setting up my binders for this spring semester. And it's time to focus on your spring semester. This is a semester to take notes from last semester and make a plan, okay? So my binders, I'm gonna show you these two first. So these two are two inch binders. Um, and I use these for the classes that I know I'm not required, like there's gonna be a lot of paperwork. So I like to do these. I haven't yet like transferred to the two and a half inch, three inch binders yet because I haven't had a class that has had that much paperwork yet. <laughs> so I'm hoping these will work this semester. And then I have a just a one inch binder as well. And this one's white. And this one is just because it's, more of a pre like a prerequisite class that I need to take and it's not gonna really have a lot of paperwork in it but it's important to still have a binder for it because that is how you stay organized so this yellow one I'm gonna be using for my calc based physics this is what it looks like so far so it has like two pockets in the front here when you open it and then it has these here so i like to use these labels let me show you these labels here and i will label everything so my blank paper will usually always go in the front in any binder and then with tabs it's so easy to just kind of pull the tab and then like go to your next um page or whatever your next section <laughs> there we go uh this is just like a little cheat sheet if you will of term physics terminology these two sheets my brother got for me so i'm very grateful and they're laminated so i get to actually keep them in here and then this one is measurements which i'm so excited because you'll be doing a lot of conversions so um i'm excited to use this that's gonna be very helpful i mean hello like look at this how cool is that so yeah my brother got me those amazing and then because I am taking calc-based physics, I kind of did a little review sheet just on um, calculus and just like the main goals of calculus, which I find there's only about two. And the first one is um, finding a like a, a slope on a curved line and then finding the area of under a curve line. Does that make sense? That's the only, I mean, that's what I got from. <laughs> and then obviously dividers. Pink one is gonna be for chemistry. Um, and so far this is all I have. Blank paper, tab, dividers. Yeah, that's all I have right now because I don't have like any terminology sheets or haven't had, you know, the, the class yet. So I don't have anything to fill it in with, which is fine. What I like to do is for the front of each binder, I like to print off the syllabus, but only the part where it shows you like this is the date where this is a date, this is what we're working on, this is what's due today, and this is what your homework is. Only that part because then it helps me organize myself. So I'll stick that in the front of each folder. So I'll have one for physics and I'll have one for chemistry and then I'll have one for this one. I can't remember which one this one is. It has to be like a, a philosophy, art, history class. I can't remember, but I'll have one for this one as well. So I'm just gonna show you what I like to do with this binder. So I will take everything off this sticker. I'll open it to make sure there's nothing in there. And then I have dividers like this. Um, so these, when it comes to school supplies, I like to buy them in bulk and I like to buy them when they're half off or more than half off. And that's usually when I get my dividers. And these are just five tab dividers because it's a smaller class compared to like my chemistry and my physics class because obviously it's gonna require a little bit more work in there. I hope this is all making sense. <laughs> okay. So take that off and then it comes like this. So you wanna go ahead and take this off. And then in the bag, it'll have your little tabs. I like to save this page because I already have tabs that I'm working on. 
that the other um, dividers had. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these into my binder here. I know you can't see it, but I'll show you here in a second. Okay. So now I have something that looks like this, you know, and then I think this teacher already, uh, I hate when that happens when you can kind of see them. <laughs> I think this teacher already sent out an email like with a syllabus. So I need to make sure I print that off and then uh, I need to put in some blank paper. So every semester I buy a pack of those 500 sheets um, printer paper because I like to use blank paper as note taking, you know, homework, just because I like to be able to make my own notes and not really have a line that I have to follow. And then I'll just hole punch it. And also that she is like only five bucks and that lasts me like probably for all these classes it'll, it'll last me the whole semester so just something to think about if you're trying to save money I'm just gonna do like a little bit for this one again it's one of those prerequisite classes so it's not gonna have a lot of paperwork I'm still excited to take it though so put that in there how cool is that? So then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my tabs and I'm just gonna write blank paper on top of this. And I know at first, like when I'm doing this, it can seem a little obsessive, but I like to stay organized. Like everything needs to have a place and everything needs to have labeled, be labeled when I'm in school. Because I have way too much going on, you know. You're working. I'm an adult student, so I have a job. So everything from the beginning needs to be labeled and just looking amazing. And then I'll put blank paper there. See? And again, this one, I will make sure to print out the syllabus that has the actual schedule. Um, on there and put it in the front here and then on the back I will usually put the rest of the syllabus because that has important information such as contact information it also has like certain policies and it's good to see also your goals so I did my tabs and this is how I like to write them I like to put physics and then the year 2021 and then I like to grab my notebook here and that's what's gonna be like in here and usually it shouldn't be too hard to put them in there but now you have this it'll be just easier for me to know what's what and then this this semester I didn't buy a lot of school supplies I think I only had to buy like the binders because I have a lot of stuff already I think this is art. God, I get organized. But here, look, see? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're excited for this semester. I know that if you never really taken online classes and last semester was your first semester that you did that, it might have not been that great. <laughs> but I hope that you don't give up and you use that as encouragement and you self-assess yourself and know that certain habits you might have had last semester you need to improve on or you need to introduce something new into your routine. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. Go ahead and like, subscribe, but specifically just share this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.